Hello everybody out there in the uh, music and vowel community. This might come at you again, or Soldier 777. And this is a mail version edition of uh, of my video. And I got my first VLC, VL, VCLT uh, package coming in the mail. Uh, which came from Scott Waters. I want to thank Scott for this because, uh, you know, when um, this, I'm kind of new, well, not new, but I'm kind of... Um, getting used to the VCLT routine of things where um, I've been starting I've been showing videos since last summer fall summer spring I think and you know I've been going through a lot of um, issues lately um, as you may know my uh, special needs son came back uh, to living with us for a while and he's need constant one-on-one -on -one tension um, he's 20 and it didn't take a lot of toll on our family and uh, kind of kind of weighs on your mind a bit and uh, so we finally, um, he's been with us since March. He was in an independent living arrangement with uh, two on one workers on him and didn't work out. He's back with us. And, and we, I think we're looking like he may be moving out with a, to a better arrangement, which I'm really glad for him, my son. He's nonverbal and he helps with things. And uh, sometimes when I would uh, bring him for a ride, I would put on some music for him, like, you know, my, the music I like to listen to. Uh, you know, like, you know, today we went for a ride around town and it was put on Deliverance and it seemed to like it, you know, a bit of thrash metal. And he likes all kinds of music, you know, it could be pop, rock, he seemed to like all kinds of music. It could be um, pop, rock, uh, hard rock, metal. He seemed to like likes all kinds of music and, and, I, and I like, I, I think I'm, I'm really glad about that. So, he's not verbal, can't really relate to me what he like and don't like to the music. Uh, but, I mean, I think he, I guess if he minded, if he didn't like it, he would motion to me to turn it off, but he seemed to enjoy it, so kind of good. Anyway, getting into, in, get into it, so basically got a few things from Scott Waters, which I deeply appreciate. Um, I got a little knife, little knife to metal um, uh, business card from Scott, it's kind of cool. I got the uh, knife to metal hand symbol with the spiked uh, wristband. I got the um, Deliverance, uh, River Disturbance back, uh, backstage pass kind of mock-up thing done up there. I got the True Strength guitar pick. Got the Ultimatum uh, 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 pin there, kind of cool. And I got the Rocks uh, Rocks pin there. Oh, sorry, the Rocks pin here, kind of cool. And North the Metal pin. Uh, couple and a couple mass ones, kind of cool. Which I thought was really, really cool. The uh, reason why Scott sent me this stuff was because I showed my video of, of collectibles that I've obtained over the years. And I guess he figured show me some things. So I got the uh, Deliverance, um, hear what I say, postcard or sticker. I got the original 2013 uh, CD of this. And I think I'm like, I think I'm like re I get the vinyl this disc that was recently put out uh, by Rock. So, or was it retro? I forget now. I get I'm gonna get mixed up between who puts it what these days. So much stuff to get there. So then I get the vinyl of this because I have the um, as I showed before the previous video. I have the um, I have the um, uh, the more recent one, Subversive kind on, on on vinyl. So I might end up getting this one. So yeah, uh, Philadelphia Search and Destroy, the new enhanced artwork, Original Servant, uh, which I can't pronounce the album title, Metallium Evangeli. I think I'm going to be getting this album. I've, I've heard the album on, on YouTube, and man, it's, it's a good album. Um, kind of reminds me of the first Deliverance album, which, which blew me away. Uh, uh, first one that came out, um, self-titled one, back in 1989. I had that taped off, and I bought the first two Deliverance albums back in uh, 1991, uh, summer of 91. I went uh, with Pink Weapons back then. I worked both at the same time on cassette. But this is a, I th I'm, I'm, I'm listening to this on YouTube, and I think I'm going to listen a few more times before I'm going to jump in and get this, and kind of on the, on the fence better. But I think I'm more like I'm going get to get this album. It's really, it rocks, is 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 great. And I, and I, don't, I need more thrash in my collection. I only have basically um, uh, Join a Dead and Deliverance. Uh, as you may know, or Deliverance, Deliverance is, is thrash, and a couple other albums uh, since then. Um, and if you can't read, kind of read, kind of sort of uh, mix between power metal, speed, and thrash. And that's the only thrash uh, metal I have in my collection. Everything else is either power metal, um, power metal, um, hard rock, commercial metal, uh, glam, um, uh, technical sh uh, shred, progressive metal. So I, I, I'll definitely be checking this. I uh, also got the new enhanced uh, uh, postcard for Deliverance uh, Rep Disturbance, which came out, as you may know, uh, a little while ago. Uh, the Guardian First Watch, which is great. This is a great Guardian album. 
I have I have this postcard, but the, the Ransom uh, Soul Song was another great band. And I think Scott signed this one, the uh, Ultimatum uh, uh, Symphonic Extremities, which is kind of cool. I, I also had this one called Kursavox uh, Subtitle, which I got these on record in CD. And Kursavox 2, and Exalt, and Bride, and Bride. Here you go. And also, Scott sent me. And something by an artist named ADB was I'm not familiar with. Maybe you guys can probably show him, tell me what what what, it, what it's about. I, I listened to the music. It seemed to be a little bit a little bit adult contemporary, uh, that kind of thing. But definitely check it into it. If if, if I don't uh, if if I'm not into it or if I don't like it, I'll certainly be passing it on to someone else to the DCLT. Maybe they might enjoy it more than I do. So I'll definitely uh, be checking this out. Also got the uh, Scott sent me the band mass. Uh, called uh, Voice in the Night, uh, Rizzo 1989, Digma Pressing, I think this is for their fourth or fifth album. And uh, to make a long story short, I first heard of Mass back in uh, 1989, uh, where I read a little, little blurb in Metal Edge magazine, and then Mike Sweet can be producing uh, their, their next album, which is, which is this one, this one he produced on. And ever thought Mass, and, and they said that in the blurb, that they're a Christian metal band in, in the right up in Metal Edge. And as we know, Mass is not a Christian band. I think Mass is based on the state from Massachusetts and also means massive. That's what I call Mass. And uh, and uh, anyway, but I think they write positive lyrics about relationships and I think they write a song to about uh, alluding to God. So I think they might be have that kind of influence in their lives, even though they might be what I call it, like a Christian band. So yeah, and I heard this, I heard this when I brought my son for a ride as well. Um, I need to listen a bit, bit more. I'm not, I'm not really into it yet, but uh, sometimes uh, it takes a while for music to grow on me. Some, some music like, like entertains you right away. Like when I first heard the first Holy Soldier album, the first Deliverance album, um, I got into it right away. Even when I heard the first, uh, um, uh, first, first Striper Soldier Art of Command, it took me a while to get into it. So there are certain albums that take a while to grow on me, and other albums I like right away. I think this is one of those albums that needs to grow on me. I do know that uh, Mass has their music uh, being done on retroactive records, or is it, uh, or is it Rocks? I think it's Rocks, and I think there's one coming called Fire Thing. So if I like this enough. I'll be definitely checking out their other albums through the Rocks uh, Records uh, production. So yeah, so thanks, uh, thanks for the Scott, and uh, definitely be be listening to this a bit more. I do know the last couple of tracks is sort of okay, but and also the ballads. I think there's a couple of ballads in this are really good. So I, I do like the ballads too. And also, uh, the last thing he gave me was Deliverance uh, self-titled debut. Now, uh, this is the um, 2017 Rocks version of this album. Now, I do have, and as you know from wearing my shirt, I'm a huge Deliverance fan. Um, I got all their albums, so uh, they're probably my top 10 bands I have in my collection. Um, I also have in my collection, I'm going to show you this, when, when Deliverance, um, uh, Rizzi had the first two Deliverance albums on, on cassette. Uh, as I said before, I bought those at the same time back in summer of 91 when I was currently dating my, dating my girlfriend, who is now my wife. And um, I remember that viv vividly. I also uh, ordered two, the two Angelica albums. No, the second Angelica album, Walking the Faith, back in 1991, too, I think. And um, so when I, when I, um, and I had the Lyrics albums on CD. Uh, or mo a good a few uh, albums on CD, or most of them, except for the first two. Uh, I didn't have those on CD having set, and so when we were active, sitting when we repress the first two on CD, I jumped on it. So I do have the 2008 version of Retroactive, uh, the self titled one. And as you can tell, the difference between two of these uh, is, is a bit different. I think both are to say which one I like the best uh, is hard to say because they both are great in terms of their artwork. Um, so here's the, the, the retroactive one. Here's one Scott sent me. It's 2070 Rocks one. Here's a 2008 uh, retroactive version one. So, so this and in the back in the back uh, part, of course, Rocks is advertising their past efforts. And uh, here you have the band pick. I think I think both might have similar inlays. Let me just see now. Yeah, this is a foldout. This one from Rocks is, is, a, is a nice little fold-out. And what you have here, right? So, yeah, so, nice little fold-out. Now, this one here that Scott uh, gave, gave me is a nice... One second, get it as a case here. 
I think it might just fall. Okay. I think I hurt the CD a bit, the, the jacket. Anyway, what Swan Scott gave me, he got a nice little write-up from, from uh, the different uh, people involved with the deliverance. He's got the uh, reference of three band members and uh, Pastor Bob Beeman. And as you may know, uh, Chris Hard, the drummer, passed away, so uh, the Jimmy Brown, um, uh, Brian Calara, I think the bass player, and Glenn Rogers uh, gave the write-up, so I thought it was really cool um, of this CD. So they used to have this, and of course it's got like pics of the band and lyrics and that kind of thing. So and at the and uh, on the back there has a picture of the band here, and on this one it has a different pic of the band. It shows, uh, yeah, it shows a different pic of the band right here. See, so both got different pictures of the band in the back there. That was kind of cool. And on the back of the CD it has this pic here. The band on the one Scott sent me, and this one has just the the song titles. So yeah, just figure should show you the difference between between both CDs. And of course, as I said before, I got the retroactive version of Weapons of Our Warfare on this one, and this one had a bonus track called Rescue on this one. So that was really cool uh, there as well. And this one here actually has a write up of the um, this one here has a write up of by Scott Waters actually. Of, of of this of this of this album uh, as well. And I think uh, either this one here or from Retroactive have a write up. Let me see now. I think it does. One second now. Huh? Yeah, there's a write up on this one as well, on the inside uh, for the self-titled one that I got back in 2008 from from. Uh, uh, retroactive so yeah that's kind of cool so I got both versions of that CD now what I might do in the future is I may get the vinyl to uh, the subtitle one as well because I think uh, uh, I'm not sure I mentioned this before but the subtitle one I think might be my favorite deliverance album although, although I do like the first uh, their first uh, three or four albums is my favorite from deliverance I think overall of course I do like the new one too subversive kind and and uh, one came out 2000, 2007, as above. I had the original pressing of that as well, as above, so below. They had a lot of color tracks in it as well. So, yeah, so I'm a huge Deliverance uh, fan. Also, to a mention, I mentioned before, too, where uh, back in 85, there was five bands I got, I got into back in 85 in the hard rock and metal and rock, which is Petra, Rez Band, Daniel Band, Striper, and Jerusalem. They were the first five bands. I forgot to mention the last video when I showed about uh, Blood and Baron Cross. And when, 80, and when late 86 or mid to late 86 and early 87 hit, uh, there was a there's three or four other bands that got into Nick, which is called pretty much you can call it next wave of bands that got into, which is Bloodgood, Baron Cross, uh, Messiah Prophet, and Saint. They were the next few bands, uh, next four bands that I got into, or four or five bands that got into. And I think Whiteheart too, but Whiteheart wasn't really a, a new band. They were around for a while or heard of them. I got into that band as well. But in terms of bands I first heard of or got into, these were the bands that got into Banner Cross, Blood Good, uh, Messiah Prophet, and Saint. Um, and of course, uh, Saint Messiah Prophet uh, were around, uh, were, had uh, albums back in 84. Uh, and Baron Cross had the Bleed EP out in '85, and Bloodgood had Metal Missionary. But the first I heard of them uh, was when they actually put their debut album out for Baron Cross Bloodgood, uh, Rock for King, and uh, the self titled Bloodgood album. And of course, it was St. Times In, and it was Mezai Prophet, uh, Master Metal. These were the al albums that uh, got me hooked on these bands as well. So I don't have uh, any uh, Mezai Prophet in my collection. I got their. Uh, Master Metal album burned off on, on disc. I had a cassette years ago, uh, so I wouldn't mind getting that album as well. As uh, as, as well, Master Metal, which is a great album as well. So I just feel like you know the next wave of albums. Of course, in '87, then I got the White Cross. Uh, in '87, in '88, of course, uh, there was uh, Sacred Warrior, another band in '88. So as at, at that point in time, my metal collection was growing. Uh, after that point, to a, a lot of different bands. I'm, I'm still into a lot of bands to this day. The same band, so. Yeah, so, anyway, Scott, thanks for the um, gifts you gave me. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, going through uh, the trials of life, you know, you wonder if anybody cares out there uh, besides your family. You know, you're going through struggles, and uh, I think getting uh, these items is a real pick-me-up. Uh, you know, kind of cheers you up a bit. And, uh, like I said, I'm not into that, uh, that ADB um, CD. Uh, and I happen to be, um, um, you know, 
send her some stuff in the mail to somebody and they're mind to her. I'll pass it on to someone. As a, I'll, I'll throw it as a bonus for someone uh, who, who may, may uplift that person. Maybe they need some, some good uplifting music as well. Uh, because I'm in the process of selling some of some, some my CDs. And uh, I may throw that one as a bonus. And uh, that may uplift someone who might really needs uh, good, some good positive music. Anyway, guys, have a great day and uh, all the best. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, like I said, uh, keep, keep putting up the videos. I watch the videos all, uh, from time to time, like Scott Waters, uh, Ronnie, Ronnie's Record Room, um, Blackmore Rules, uh, Black Char Vinyl, um, and some other ones I can't think of right now. Um, uh, oh, Tim Line. And oh, and Mega Jeff McCormick. Uh, I'm, I really look forward to watching your videos, guys, and uh, keep them coming. And uh, and also, I'm looking for subscribers. Subscribe to my video, make a comment, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, if there's something I can do different, let me know. I'm always want to improve my videos, make them more interesting. I know I only show mostly Christian music, which is uh, which is a kind of a narrow market. But like I said, uh, that's pretty much all I have. All I have in my collection mostly, except for like I said, Mass. Uh, Dream Theater and uh, and, uh, and Pell Terry, uh, which is the only bands I have that really come Christian. So, anyway, guys, have a great day. All the best, and uh, and uh, look forward to hearing from all of you soon. Bye.